Hi, I'm Bryce Perrin from CPAP Direct. In this video, we're going to do a walkthrough of the AirSense 10, so that way you can be 100% confident with your first night on this device. So the AirSense 10 comes in this travel bag here. So if we unzip it, we can see there's compartments for all different uh, components of the machine. Up the top is where your manuals are. Down the back here is where your heated tube is, climate line tube. The device is in the middle, the humidifier chamber, and in the front section, you'll find your power supply, and it's also where you'll store your mask. Firstly, we'll go through the physical components of the machine, and then we'll go through the different menu options and what you might need to adjust. With the main unit of the device, you can see that we have a home button at the very bottom of the screen, and we have a scroll dial button to the right of the screen. You can navigate the menu by turning that left and right, and there is a button in the middle for selecting different options on the menu. On the top is the main power button. On the side here, you'll see a flip down lid where you can get to the filter. Now the filter should be changed every six months at least. And you can buy those on cpap.com.au or from the store that you bought the device from. Where this blue section is here, you can open that up and there is a SD card which stores all of your data. There is also a modem inside the device which uploads all of the data to the cloud. So you, your therapy can be monitored by our clinicians and the therapy can also be adjusted as well as long as you're happy for us to do that for you. The humidifier chamber is a chamber that you put water in. It's best to put uh, either boiled water or distilled water or demineralized water or filtered water into the device. The idea behind a humidifier is to rehydrate the airways. If you can imagine if you're standing in front of a fan all night with your mouth open, you're gonna get very dry. So we basically have a heater plate on the humidifier, which you open up like this, and you put water inside. The heater plate gets warm, and releases moisture into the air, which is then picked up by the air that goes across the water and into your tube and then into your mask to rehydrate your airway. The humidifier must go on the device. If you don't want to use a humidifier, you can get a blanking plate that slides in over the, over the end there. However, all AirSense 10s come with a humidifier. The way that we open it up to show you again is you lift the clasp just there and open it up. or on the side like that, open it up, and you pour the water straight in. On the front there is a guide, uh, you probably want to fill it up about halfway on your first night. The humidifier just slides in very easily into the end. The way you extract the humidifier is put your thumb on the top and your fingers underneath, squeeze and pull to get it out. On the back of the machine is where the heated tube connects. Now the heated tube controls the dry heat. The reason why a tube will be heated is because if you've got warm moist air inside a humidifier chamber and that's going into a long cold tube because your environment might be cold if you're in winter or you've got a lot of air conditioning on in the bedroom, then you'll end up with condensation and what we call rain out, which is when you end up with extra water droplets in your mask. So the climate line tubes have got a copper cable all the way through them and they heat the air to hold the moisture particles at the right size. So they all, they, when they get to your master at the right size, so they can adequately humidify the air and so they can replenish the moisture in your airway. On the main end of the tube, you'll see there is a little copper connection. That can only go in one way in the back of the machine. So it connects and pushes in like that. And then you can swivel the tube 180 degrees depending on which side of the bed you're sleeping on. The other end of the tube is universal. So it will be compatible with almost every single mask that there is on the market these days. That just slides into the elbow or connection on the mask that you've chosen and the circuit is complete. Last step is to power it up. So your power pack comes with a little figure eight cord that slides in. Make sure it's seated firmly into that connection there so that you don't have any power problems. On the back of the device, it just plugs in to the connection there. When you're using the device for the first time, 
My personal advice is to have the machine on the floor next to your bed. I would usually put it on a couple of books to just raise it off the floor so it's not sucking in a lot of dust. But it's important to have the machine lower than ear level from both a humidifier perspective in case you happen to get some rain out. It's much harder for water to be pushed uphill into your mask if the machine is lower than your ear level. And also the machine is going to be quietest if it's down low as well. The next step is to navigate the menu and have a look at what we need to adjust in there.